Why are rain clouds dark grey in color when water droplets are actually colorless? Find out the answer during the course of this video. When did the American War of Independence take place? Answer, from 19th of April, 1775 to 3rd of September, 1783. The American War of Independence, also known as the American Revolutionary War, arose from growing tensions between residents of Great Britain's 13 North American colonies and the colonial government, which represented the British Crown. Clashes between British troops and colonial rebels in Lexington and Concord in April 1775 kicked off the armed conflict, and by the following summer, the rebels were waging a full scale war for their independence. France entered the American Revolution on the side of the colonists in 1778, turning what had essentially been a civil war, into an international conflict. After French assistance helped the Continental Army force the British surrender at Yorktown, Virginia, in 1781, the Americans had effectively won their independence, though fighting would not formally end until 1783. The overthrow of British rule, established the United States of America, as the first republic in modern history, extending over a large territory. How much time, does sun rays take to reach Earth? Answer, 8 minutes and 20 seconds. The speed of light is 299,792.458 km per second. The distance between the Earth and the Sun is 149.6 million km. Thus, the scientists calculate that the average time it takes for light to reach the Earth from the Sun is, 8 minutes and 20 seconds. However, this time is variable because the Earth is constantly orbiting the Sun on a course which is, elliptical, that is uneven. It can be between 147 million to 152 million kilometers away from the Sun at any time. When closest to the sun, sunlight only takes 8 minutes 10 seconds to reach Earth. And when at the most distant point, it takes 8 minutes 27 seconds for sunlight to make the journey. But interestingly, those traveling photons, that is light radiations, are much older than 8 minutes. They were made thousands of years ago inside the sun itself. They are made via fusion reactions right at the sun's core and, very slowly work their way out. They start as gamma radiation and, then become photons waiting to be released inside the giant star, with a diameter 109 times larger than Earth. Once they reach the surface, they escape and travel fast. Which is the largest and the deepest ocean in the world? Answer, the Pacific Ocean. 
located between the Southern Ocean, Asia, Australia, and the land masses of the Western Hemisphere, the Pacific Ocean contains almost twice as much water as the world's second largest body of water, the Atlantic Ocean. Besides being the biggest water body, the Pacific is also the oldest of the existing ocean basins. Its oldest rocks have been dated to about 200 million years ago, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's National Ocean Service. The deepest part of the ocean is called the Challenger Deep and is located beneath the Western Pacific Ocean, in the southern end of the Mariana Trench, which runs several hundred kilometers southwest of the U.S. territorial island of Guam. Challenger Deep is approximately 36,200 feet, that is 11,035 meters, deep. It is named after the HMS Challenger, whose crew first sounded the depths of the trench in 1875. Who was the first person to climb to the top of the Mount Everest? Answer: Edmund Hillary and Denzing Norgay. In 1922, the British became the first to attempt to scale the peak, which at 29,035 feet above sea level is the highest point on Earth. As many as six British expeditions tried to get to the top thereafter but, it was the Swiss, under Edouard Wistonop, who came the closest, in 1952. The Swiss expedition was pushed back by bad weather, a heartbreaking 250 meters from the summit. At 11.30 am on 29th of May, 1953, Edmund Hillary of New Zealand and Denzing Norgay, a Sherpa from Nepal, became the first explorers to reach the summit of Mount Everest. As of the end of the 2018 season, the Himalayan database reports that 295 people are known to have died climbing Everest, while there have been 9,159 successful summit climbs by 5,294 people. Now back to the question number one. Why are rain clouds dark grey in color when water droplets are actually colorless? Answer: Clouds are visible accumulations of tiny water droplets or ice crystals in the Earth's atmosphere. Clouds form when the air close to the ground warms and it begins to rise. The rising air contains water vapor. As the air rises, it cools and the water vapor within the rising air condenses onto dust particles in the air. The water vapor or ice crystals coalesce, or come together, to form clouds. Clouds usually appear white because the tiny water droplets inside them are tightly packed, reflecting most of the sunlight that hits them. The sunlight is reflected in all possible directions, including some portion which penetrates to the cloud base. White is how our eyes perceive all wavelengths of sunlight mixed together. When it is about to rain, the cloud gets thicker and denser, as it gathers more water droplets and ice crystals. The thicker it gets, the more light it scatters resulting in less light penetrating all the way through it. The particles on the underside of the rain cloud don't have a lot of light to scatter to our eyes, so the base appears grey as we look on from the ground below. This effect becomes more pronounced the larger the water droplets get, 
such as right before they are large enough to fall from the sky as rain, because they become more efficient at absorbing light, rather than scattering it.